we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, if you've been following along with my video series of me covering Tekken, I want to say A, thank you, and B, if you, if you made it to the point to where I talked about picking a character and what character to play and understanding their frame data, you probably at this point have picked the character that you wanted to play, and you're like, well, how do I go about learning this character? And how, do we, and how do I get good with them? Well, in my opinion, how I started out is I learned how to punish with my character. And how do you learn punishment? Well, this is what I did. First of all, I would go to at the pause menu, go to practice settings, and go to actions after hit and block, and go to this option here. Click it, and then click on block all. Go through your character's move list, and if there's strings that fully connect, that all of them hit, mark it down, and mark down all the one-hitting moves, like launchers, or, or moves like this here. And if they fall within the frame range of 10 to 15 of speed, then mark it down. As you learn that, what you're going to want to do, as you kind of understand your character's punishment, is you're going to want to go into quick match. You can go into rank if you want, up to you, whether if you want to stress about it or not. I would then recommend, as you're in quick match, is to learn how to punish the characters. Now, some of you are probably going to be thinking, well, Mike, whatever character I fight against, I don't know how I'm going to punish him. How the heck am I supposed to know? I don't have all this nifty stuff in practice mode here. It's going to tell me what's this or that or whatever. You're right. You're not wrong. And you're, all, and you're probably going to tell me, but Mike, there's 32 characters in this game. There's so much magic. Oh, my goodness. And you're probably, like, you're probably feeling overwhelmed about it. Trust me. You're not wrong. I'm not disagreeing with you. What I recommend how you start out is you take your very, when you see a move from a character and you block it, and you're like, huh, is that punishable? What you're then going to do is you're going to start out simple. Start out simple. Oh, I can punish it with a jab. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Hmm. You keep that in the back of your head. All right, you see that move again. Well, let's see if I can punish it again. But with a much more, you know, you know, pick, some, pick that next punisher that's a little bit longer and see if it connects. Oh, it connects. Perfect. Okay, so, so I guess it's for me. I start with my 10 frame. Perfect, it works. My next, my next keyframe punisher that I can use is my shoulder, which is back one plus two, which is 13 frames. Let's see. Oh, my 13 frame connects. Huh, interesting. Okay. So let's see, what's next? Oh, let's see if my hop kick, which is 15 frames, let's see if that connects. Oh, the best of the best, the best reward possible. It works. Okay, so next time you see that move, and you know the hot kick works, you now know it connects. And that's how you kind of learn, in hindsight, all 32 characters across the board fairly quickly. There is a much more quicker way of learning characters, you know, learning the character matchup, which is like, you know, learning their key moves and stuff, and, and how they're being used, and especially with how this character, which especially how this game is set up, with you... You know, you can go into, um, you know, your replays and kind of watch and keep, no, oh, this move here was minus 10. Oh, this move here was minus 15. You know, it's recommended that you kind of go down that mental checklist of your character's punishers as you're playing in quick match. And, and it kind of helps you to understand your character and stuff like that. And what I recommend is when you're in quick match, does not matter if you win. Does not matter if you lose. At the end of the day, when you start getting good with certain things, when it comes to, you know, block punishment, ducking strings that are high, or anything like that, those are the victories you want to learn. Those are the victories you want that you learn and want because because you're putting together those different puzzle pieces together of your gameplay skill, which can then, in the long run, it's going to help you become that better player, which is going to help you get you that that better rank that you want help you win at a local scene or anything like that. 
So that's how I see when it comes to picking up your character and stuff like that. Of course, like, you know, excuse me. Of course, you know, you got like, you know, um, you know, uh, float charts, uh, frame traps, um, anything like that. I wouldn't really recommend learning your frame traps right away or your flow charts because what will happen is at some point when you're playing this game, you, you might feel stuck and you're like, oh, Mike, I'm, I'm stuck here and I don't know why. Well, start, take a step back, breathe for a little bit, and you start to realize that you're probably stuck in what's called autopiling, which is another video project that I want to get involved with. So that's why I don't really want you to get involved with learning that because at some point it's going to become very detrimental to your gameplay and a lot of people are like well you got to learn you know um you know you know you know the heat mechanic and the aggression your offense no that's not the right way of doing it with all due respect all these other creators on here that you know they're going to tell you oh you got to learn how to learn how to do offense and learn how to use the the learn how to use your frame traps and stuff and i'm like no it's not like that you got to learn how to do defense first, learn how to break your grabs, learn how to punish your opponent and stuff, and and then which is then it's gonna cause you to start feeling like at some point, oh I'm stuck, oh I'm stuck. Learn your defense first. Learn how to block punish first. And you know, like for instance for me, that that was the idea that was given to me. Go into quick match, practice punishing. Who cares if you win or lose? You win or lose, that's just the context of the game. Eh, who cares? Win, cool, lose, whatever. And then, after you learn punishment, then you start to learn how to work on defense. You know, learn how to use a plus on block move here and there. And then, learn how to use the, the plus on block move first, then watch and see how your opponent reacts. And if they with a move after you use your plus on block move, then you know that you kind of set up a with punishment which is basically when a character or your opponent whiffs a move, then you can punish that move with a with a move that covers that range that falls within that that distance or whatever, which is also very important. And then like as you go and watch like replays, like you can watch high levels through this game, play the character that you play, and the the moments where they lose, you can pick out like, oh, if they just you know, duck the string here or block punish a, a string there, it would totally help flip the momentum in their favor. And that's why punishment is super important. I understand there's this heat system in the game and it helps you with, you with your aggression and mashing buttons and stuff. I understand that. But those higher level opponents that might be gatekeeping you from going where you want to be already know what you're probably going to do. Which and then it, it which and then leads you know with your frame traps and your flow charts, which and then would lead into your bad habits, which and then your opponent's going to punish you heavily for it. <laughs> As in then, <laughs> you know, I, I learned that lesson myself. So learn your block punishment first, master that, practice that for a few weeks, and then after those two weeks, then kind of dabble in some offense and and, and formulate your defense with your offense because as i say your best offense is your defense or your best defense is your offense or vice versa because not all offense is perfect in this game so that's my thought process um you know have fun try to do the best you can oh i hope i am the i hope i'm i'm some kind of help to you um if you got any questions or concerns Please let me know. Please in the comments down below if you got a question to ask. I'll do the best I can to answer that for you. But uh, with that, I'm out of here. So, see ya! Yeah.